Um, and so what to do with AFCO, foods that fall in AFCO range. Isn't that great they fell into AFCO range? Mm, yes and no, okay? So AFCO is giving you the bare minimums to support life. Basically, AFCO, if, if a food was, is within the AFCO nutrient profiles, it's just saying the food's not likely to kill your pet. Um, but I would like everybody on this channel, and I think most people that are searching out these videos, because most of my views come from people searching, not from members and subscribers, where I would like to take a moment to say, please do like and subscribe and leave a comment because it really does help the channel out, um, you know, and help push these out to people on YouTube that maybe need to hear this information. But I think what you guys really want is to know what is best. And that means we don't want to just survive. We don't just don't want the bare minimums, which is what AFCO is telling us. And I don't mean bare minimums as in just the minimum. I mean, like, they don't pay attention a lot to excesses. They don't care if you're overdosing. They literally only care about the bare minimums. And so we want a fine tailored situation here, right? It's the difference between going out and buying a suit that is very expensive let's say you go out and you buy the most expensive suit and um you know you paid a fortune for it and you put it on and if it's like a garbage bag if it's horrible it doesn't matter that you paid a lot of money for it it still looks bad on you and that could be the case with foods just because you spend a lot of money on a food because i get that a lot in clinic what food do you feed i don't know but it's a good one because we pay a lot for it no, this day and age, that, that is not true. There are a lot of companies out there that are sucking people in and supply and demand, right? Um, they, a food is as expensive as people are willing to pay. That's reality, guys, okay? Pet food companies will price food according to what people are willing to pay. And the marketing will drive that up. They convince you that a certain thing is good and the price doesn't dictate quality quite Price dictates what people are willing to pay and how they're uh, you know, going about convincing you that you should pay that. Um, and so alternatively, I prefer to say, um, you know, I want to look for a suit that fits. And if the fit is good, I might be able to, um, you know, I might feel fine with paying for maybe a little bit of, you know, less quality materials. Um, or I might feel fine with paying a lot for, you know, the suit with materials as long as it fits. It doesn't matter to me. I don't want to wear a paper bag, even if that paper bag sack um, costs a million dollars. If it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. And so that's what we're saying. And that's what I'm saying on this channel when people argue with me um, in the comments about the ingredients and how I don't weigh them on, enough on my pet food scoring system. Um, and the, the reason is, is because the nutrients, the fit is the most important. And then you guys can feed whatever you want. I'm not telling you to feed bad ingredients. I'm not telling you to feed good ingredients. I'm telling you to make sure the nutrition fits before you worry about the ingredients. Um, and so, so, so that's, that's the story on that. 